uh, we, we had a lot of rain this morning, JW. John, J- John, John Fouch, I got two JWs here, and it's uh, off to get out of this uh, first set. Uh, JW, a lot of uh, thunderstorms are rolled uh, off of the north coast of Cuba into the Florida Straits over Key West this morning. Big question mark is to what the weather was going to be, and it looked like it might be raining up until about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, but things are clearing up nicely, as you can see on the live stream. Getting up to uh, all the thunderstorms and the lightning, and uh, really we were kind of questioning whether uh, the Coast Guard might put a stop to this race or whether it would get delayed, maybe push back to the afternoon, which is not the best-case scenario because, as we've talked about all week, we've got all of these... Um, poker boat uh poker run boats uh here in town as well so that would just be a nightmare to have to push it back to the afternoon but looks like we're going to get lucky the skies are clearing up there are some storms coming uh towards this way off of cuba but we were talking with the national weather service a little bit earlier today and it looks like everything is just kind of splitting up and going around us so uh you know let's hope for the best and hope for a good day of racing all right we see the bracketed boats coming out and our first start are the uh, bracketed three, four, and five boats, and then the six and sevens will run here. Thirteen boats in our first start, and then, of course, there's the long intermission between the, the, the races in the afternoon, which start at, at 12.30. We're going to have complete coverage for you here on The Zone 97.7 Sports Radio, also available on the iHeart and TuneIn radio apps, and, of course, you can hear this broadcast and watch the race on the Race World Offshore Facebook Page. These boats are racing for the uh, Southern Most Continental Championship here today before finally racing on Sunday, taking a three-day race total for an overall world championship here in Key West from the Deep Impact Custom Boats Blackwater Broadcast booth. Nothing looks or rides like a Deep Impact Custom Boat. Schedule your trial today at deepimpactboats.com, plantationboat.com. Uh, Joey Cook from the Citizen, who's covered this event for so many years here and followed the Joey, the, the bracketed boats. Uh, what are these guys all about, production class racing? A lot of these guys are coming in and are new to the sport. So they're trying to get their feet wet, figure out how to run these boats. And at this point, there are so many different types of, excuse me, types of boats out on the water here today that you have to put them into these bracketed speed limits pretty much they're running they can't break out they break out even a rogue wave pushes them over a tenth of a uh, speed that they can go they're done they're back to the back of the pack here today so a lot of it is learning you know what i mean for these guys and some of these guys actually are veterans you look at the simmons marines jim simmons has been in that boat for for years and he likes to run this class too so you have a nice mix in here of rookies veterans and people just figuring out the wastewater i think it's a great way to start the races every day because it kind of sets the plan and all these other bigger boats get to watch what these little boats get to do out here yeah so some mis- mismatched equipment but pretty relatively close but they have to stay in their bracketed the, their bracketed speeds for their their different classes and we have 13 boats racing here today in the, the different bracketed class now one other bracketed class will run at the uh, 1230 start that's the uh, bracketed class 200 so the boats are out in the the milling area on the south uh, on the, the north turn here in Key West Harbor, the first start that will uh, come up behind the, uh, the Cigarette 50, which is your pace boat number one, Chief Referee Richie Dan Sisson will be aboard that boat and start classes three, four, and five. And uh, they will run a mixture of five and six laps. I believe also class one, which is running unopposed, which is Cigarette Justice League, will start in that class. And then uh, the Cigarette Hawk, pace boat will pick up the second start for uh, production classes six and seven and they'll run five laps here today or 22.4 miles so here's your lineup for today in bracket class one it was the fastest overall boat in this first start on wednesday cigarette justice league number 147 in bracket class three team woody racing 327 and uh, the Rolling Dirty Offshore, number 350. And bracket class four, BoatRacingExperience.com. That's a new boat here. There's two new boats in the uh, field of the class 400. That's boat number 402. Bracket class four, boat number two is Simmons Racing, number 404. Then GNS Motorsports, number 467. Bulletproof, another new boat, 
uh, is racing in bracket class five, excuse me, only one new boat in uh, bracket class four. So one new boat in bracket class five, and that's bulletproof. Then Team Woody, 527, your winner from Wednesday. And then Pop Amigos, number 549. And the last four boats in the field are bracket class six boats. Southern Arbor Services, 688. Gerard Marine, 696. Jackhammer, 744. And Gallagher Marine, 790. So the weather right now, a little more breezy than it was supposed to be, JW. It was supposed to really be, it was a light day, expected not to... To, 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 to be too rough here today, but this weather is kind of making things, uh, you know, not 100% certain what it's going to be. We got the yellow flag up. They're going to get the boats on, on plane here, but uh, we're going to see how it progresses today. Yeah, we were walking through the pits, and everybody that we talked to was expecting a flat, calm day today, and so uh, during their testing yesterday, they were setting their boats up for calm conditions. It is a little breezier than expected, but most of them should be set up pretty well for this. All right, boats are up on the plane. They had some issues with starts yesterday or on Wednesday. So he's going to, Richie Dan is going to hold these boats till they get to Tank Island. You see with Siri Island in the background, if you're watching the live stream on Race World Offshore's Facebook page, beautiful 50-foot cigarette is the Facebook. Trying to line the boats up, get them lined up. Now, when he passes here at the pier, you'll see a big buoy. Now he's going to get ready to get them lined up and they do look like they're lined up pretty well gns and team woody's looking pretty nice there and then the 350 boat we have a green flag green flag racing here Ale Vite. we are off and racing rolling dirty offshore moved up now watches team woody take the lead heading out to turn number one so we are underway pretty much right on time here a little bit early for the 2021 Race World Offshore World Championships, an American Powerboat Association and UIM sanctioned event here in the Island City, 40th anniversary of championship racing here in the southernmost city. As GNS continues to look strong, heading out to turn number one. Now, of course, this is right where things happen, guys. Turn number one, you have so much traffic out there, Joey. Got to be very careful. Stay in your lanes going around that turn. We saw an incident on the very first turn of the Super V class the other day. Actually, it was the Mod V class when this Visit St. Pete went into the back of the Mile Marker 17 and the Visit St. Pete spun out from there. Mile Marker 17 was only going to make it a couple more laps after that. So, yes, it's a very hairy first turn hitting that wall out there, and I'm sure that wall is especially choppy out there today. GNS Motorsports in the lead going around turn one. Followed right. by Team Woody in the next class. All right, coming back, there's Cigarette Hawk. We're picking up our second start here. For today's racing, this is classes six and seven. And they're up on plane, passing Sunset Key. Got boats kind of out of alignment. No, Richie's not happy about that. Said he might be handing out some penalties today. He's trying to get them set up and lined up. And he's still holding those boats right now. Still got a yellow flag. And now, there we go. We're racing Ale V. Wow. Oh, boy, we might see some penalties there, folks. We'll see. They're heading out to turn one. So we're, we're going to officially start at both of our official starts here for our first race, day number two for the World Championship races. And here come our leaders from the first start. They pass Fort Zachary Taylor on the south end of the course. Boats getting some air out there. As they head on into Key West Harbor, looks like GNS still running very well. Seems like the tide is going out pretty strong right now, and the wind is blowing in that same direction, making a quite of a roller type of a situation going out around Fort Zachary. Yeah, GNS and Simmons running one and two. They give a big thumbs up. Yeah. Here comes Team Woody, 327, leading in Class 300. Their Class 400 leader is GNS Motorsports, followed by Simmons Racing. Here comes Cigarette Justice League, running unopposed. All right, what a race. Team Woody, 527, leading. Rolling Dirty Offshore came through.
What was that last boat that came by here, guys? That was uh, bulletproof. Bulletproof. So bulletproof. Running in class five. They're running in, in second, second behind place. Team Woody. Yeah. We didn't see Papa Amigos come through that no, time. No, we didn't. Yet. They had a little bit of bad luck the other day too. They uh, they really were concerned about being able to stay running. All right, so we're looking down into the north turn. There goes Cigarette Justice League. And we remember them, and they remember us. It's really this is looks like they're making good turns down there. So we look at Simmons Marine here on the back stretch, passing Sunset Key here in Key West Harbor. Simmons Marine is stretched out. Slight lead over GNS. So they took the lead on the turn after lap number one. Racing is underway here in Key West. Glad to have you on board here from the Race World Offshore Facebook page. Also live here in the Florida Keys at the Zone 97.7 Sports Radio from the Deep Impact Custom Boats Blackwater Broadcast booth. It will be interesting to see how today plays out. There is really a threat of potentially some more showers coming through, but it does look like things have cleared up pretty well. Boats are bouncing around a little more than we would have expected yesterday. Here comes some more boats through. There's Gerard Marine, 696, leading in bracket class six. Followed by the 688 Southern Harbor Services. Here comes our little jackhammer. Well, that boat up in the air. Runs so nice. Had a great day. Left from start to finish in class seven on Wednesday in the early lead here. And there's the Gallagher team running in second place in class 700. Only a couple of boats, Pop Amigos. Just Pop Amigos hasn't. Rolling dirty. I didn't see rolling dirty come through. Yeah, there. Are, yeah, you're right. Two boats still out there as we look again down towards the Harbor Hotels on the north end of the course. A lot of trouble there for some teams, catamarans in particular, later in the day on Wednesday. Watch Gerard Marine, your leader in bracket class six. All right, we're looking back towards the south end of the course and our overall leaders heading back in here in front of the outer mole at the Truman Annex as the crowds begin to build for today's second day of racing in the World Championships here in the southernmost city. Glad to have you on board with us here globally out there watching today's race. Looks like Simmons Marine continuing to run very well here Took that lead on the turn at the end of lap number one. Simmons Marine in first. Now DNS in second. No. If you can hold this for the rest of the way, this will be kind of a battle for Sunday in that bracket four class. There goes T-23-27. Substantial lead in class 300 right now. Cigarette Justice lead, which was the fastest boat of the day. Also coming through there and on the outside leg, they are running unopposed. Cigarette Justice League's got quite an advantage. It's one of the Rondell boats that just came through. First time through for them, that's the Bat Boat, boat racing experience. So that is, over, I didn't see them come through the first yeah, that's, time, right? That's yeah. their first lap. Yeah, so they're in class 400, guys. Yep. They just signed up in, this morning, so they raced for the first time here today. It's 527 D. Woody just getting by, rolling dirty here. And there goes the bulletproof. So, bulletproof running in third place in class 500. It's Team Woody 527, excuse me, they came through. Simmons Marine had the early lead on Wednesday, but then had some mechanical issues and broke down. Today, they're running well, staying out in front of GNS. GNS took the win on Wednesday. In that two-boat class, it's important point-wise, you're looking at it, this win for Simmons Marine would just, like you said, keep it even for the rest of the way. So they really need to put it 
into first place and hold the rest of the way through. There goes the boat that they call the Bat Boat down the back stretch in front of Sunset Key. Again, a new boat that did not race on Wednesday, came, showed up here last couple of days and is out racing here today. This is their first time around the course here. Being in that bracket class four, I'm sorry, the Bat Boat is actually in that bracket class four, and because of that right now, they could actually throw some monkey wrench into that. So if Simmons or GNS do not are unable to finish today, that bat boat there could really throw a interesting curve to those teams right there. So staying attrition and staying all the way through is be really important for GNS and Simmons Marine in this one if they want to keep the points even going into Sunday. I think that that swell out there by Fort Zachary is a little bit bigger than anticipated. It's given a lot of those little boats a hard time. I think that... Uh, here comes Gerard Marine, guys. Gerard Marine leading a track at 600. Followed by Southern Harbor Services. I do believe Southern Harbor made up a little time on that lap there. They sure did. Cut down that early lead the Southern Harbor Services had. So we're two laps into this. Four lap race for most classes. The Cigarette Justice League is running five laps here today along with the bracket class 300 boats. But the weather is really on the improve and looking pretty good. Here comes Jackhammer. Continuing lead in class seven. Those guys are really bouncing around. <laughs> they do put on a good show. That's that typical small but mighty right there. They keep fighting. All right, here comes our overall leader in bracket class 400, Simmons Racing, and then GNS running in second. Cigarette Justice League, you'll see them coming into the screen here in a moment. Now the Gallagher boat running in second place. In Racket class seven. <laughs> Team Woody, 327, three laps in of their five lap race. Lady Crab with Billy Shipley and Chad Woody. And there goes the boat racing experience team again. They're a lap down right now in that bracket four. So we do have four boats around the course, or three boats around the course in that class. So we look back at the jackhammer, and there goes Simmons Marine past them. Two boats from two different classes. Simmons Marine guys, they, they're not having any trouble today. And if you're th your GNS sitting behind them right now, you just got to be thinking, all right, we can hold this right where we're at. We're okay going tied into this final day. Rolling dirty offshore. That sounded so good. No, it didn't. Team Woody, 527. That's bulletproof making a move right there on Team Woody, actually. Right, exactly. It got past them, but it's like Team Woody has the inside line. A little bit of traffic there. But Team Woody would move back to second at the end of that lap. Let's see how it sorts out on the back stretch. In the overall point race, Bulletproof's not being able to race on Wednesday puts them in a large 100 point, 101 point hole. So right now, Team Woody has just got to make sure they stay on course. Getting a good look at the new entry here today, the Riddell boat, the bat boat, boatracingexperience.com. Back into the turn. We'll see how those two boats sorted out, Bulletproof and Team Woody. We look at Gallagher Racing running in second place now in bracket class 700. Guys, let's go to the the turn. You'll see a nice race going on in class 500. We look out towards Simmons, Reen, and GNS. They're pulling closer together. It looks like GNS might go around them, guys. Now look at boats coming in from the south end of the course. 
Looks like Team Woody might have got around there on that turn. We'll sort them out when they come back in after lap number four. Boats in Class 500 were going out for their last lap, so we could have a heck of a finish here. All right, here comes our leader in Class 600. Southern Arbor is taking him over. Yep, taking the lead. Gerard Marine. All right, now GNS is taking the lead. There goes Gerard Marine. They're in second with a lap to go, but GNS is taking the lead on that last lap. And Simmons trying to chase him down heading into the turn number three. GNS now with the lead. And they have won the race, taken on the checkered flag. How about that? Simmons takes second. That's a huge move right there for GNS in the overall world championship race. Cigarette Justice League. They don't run the fastest today. They don't finish overall first, but they still have a lap to go. But Simmons Marine lost that on the turn in Key West Harbor after the third lap, and then GNS was able to hold on and win that one at the checkered flag. And we've seen a change of positions in Class 600 where Southern Arbor Services got by Gerard Marine. Here comes Team Woody, 327. Continuing the lead in Class 300, Jackhammer came by as well. They've led every lap of this race. Southern Arbor Service is your leader in class 600. Cigarette Justice League. The 42 Cigarette 2020 Hull. Don Erfer, Richard Davies, and Corey Chantry. 26, 900 horsepower Mercs. Southern Arbor Services got by Gerard Marine. They've got a lap to go, see if they can pull off the win here today. Live coverage from the Deep Impact Custom Boats Blackwater Broadcast booth. Nothing looks or rides like a Deep Impact Custom Boat. Schedule your sea trial today at deepimpactboats.com forward slash plantationboat.com. Team Woody, 527. Take the checker flag. Bulletproof second here today. A little drama in that class. Made it really interesting, Bulletproof did. They sure did. Comes rolling dirty offshore. They'll finish. Well, still one lap to go in class 300. Apologies. They're in second right now. So we still have both out on the course. Waiting for the class 600 boats and 700s to finish. And the class 300 boats still out on their their last lap of the day. We look to the center of the course, and GNS will be taking another checkered flag, their second straight of the week here in bracket class 400. Got to be feeling real good about their day today, a 40-foot velocity, 2,000 hole, great, Grant Graytock and Lil Bill Reeves, twin 650-horsepower Mercs. In the 467 GNS Motorsports, bracketed class 400, bracketed speed of 85 miles per hour. That'll give them a 21-point lead going into su- Sunday, unofficially because they had to check everything, you know, make sure nobody broke out here. But it gives them a 21-point lead. However, with points doubled come Sunday, a win by Simmons Marine and would still put them one point ahead for the championship. All right, here comes finishes for you in our other classes like bracket class 600 here boats getting some air in front of the fans at Fort Zachary Taylor Southern Rubber Services pushing it really hard coming down the home stretch they sure are Gerard Marine trying to catch up but they will not hear that cigarette justice lead on the the outside, but there's your winner today in bracket class 600, Southern Arbor Services. Cigarette Justice League finished unopposed first here today in class 100, and now Gerard Marine, your winner from 
Wednesday finishes up in second here today. We've had some pretty good racing. First lap, guys couldn't hold on to the lead during the race and got boats got around them and finished. And kind of makes the points interesting here as we head in. There's team Woody, 520, 327. That'll be his finish for the checkered flag. Yep. Billy Shipley and Chad Woody and the Lady Craft. Second straight win for them here this week. In the 2021 World Championship races. Good look at that 42 cigarette. Cigarette Justice League. So he's going to take a potentially take another lap. No, nope, he's going to move to the inside of the course. Another good look at BoatRacingExperience.com. They go around another lap. They're a lap behind the rest of the competitors. And we'll be seeing Jackhammer coming around right now, wrapping up their second straight win here this week. One on Wednesday. They'll win here again today, guys. They come across the start finish line, a little air there for the Jack Hammer team. As the checkered flags being waved from the cigarette pace boat. Thank Cigarette for their sponsorship, a five year deal with the Race World Offshore. Here comes 527. Team Woody finishing up here today. Bulletproof will take second place. John Ruiz, president of Cigarette Racing. Using that beautiful 50 cigarette as the pace boat out here today. Cigarettes well represented out here. They've got uh, some of the safety boats or big cigarette boats too with uh, multiple outboards. And we'll of course see tons of cigarette boats tonight at the Conquer Public Seafood Company, Florida Powerboat Club, putting on their annual poker run. They're a quarter of a century into that. As we watch the 350 rolling dirty offshore. Finished up today, Joey off the pace. Had a couple of good laps early, though. Yeah, he's going to na- need to make up some work there. 22 points back in that class now, that, that bracket three class. You know, adding an extra boat in the bracket four class makes it really interesting because if you look at it, that bracket four class, Simmons Marines, is only going to be 21 points back because you get a bonus point per boat you beat. So with that extra bonus point right now, Simmons Marine has a much better chance of actually coming back for a title versus Rolling Dirty sitting 22 points back. That one bonus point could make a huge difference come Sunday. Yeah, it, you know, and you forget, you know, when you start lining the points up, you get a point for every boat you finish in front of. And, yeah, you, and it works the other way. If you lose a boat... Right, you know, correct. On Sunday, you, you might not have, have that bonus point that the team got the first two days. That's correct. And that happens sometimes. You might even lose two boats, which are really, I've seen guys lose the championship, not because of what they did, but because another boat, they couldn't get it together and get back out there again. Right. So in that bracket five class, you look at it that Papa Migos, if they got on the water, we're not really sure. I don't know if they got a start. So that'll be a big difference. That one point, although Woody Offshore now has control of that bracket five class because Bulletproof did not run on Wednesday. Pop Amigos coming in either a DNS with a zero point or a three point, a third place pointage, really puts Woody offshore in well control of that bracket five class. But it does make a difference missing one boat and how that one point plays in. All right, we're seeing the bracket 600 boats. They went back out for another lap. I mean, we have the official lap count sheet here, but it, it didn't really change anything. And both Southern Arbor Services and Gerard Marine went back around, but uh, it was still one, two. We have them finished after lap number four. And both those guys flipped from the other days. And it was Gerard Marine that won on Wednesday, and now... No, finished. Southern Arbor won both days now. No, so they, they did. Have, Southern Arbor yeah. did win both days. I apologize. Yep, you're right. Southern you know, Arbor. we're talking about the uh, bracket four and the bracket five. The, the, the boats that started on Wednesday actually have an increased advantage because there was only two boats. Correct. And now there's three boats. So even though Simmons Marine didn't finish the other day, if there would have been three boats in the class on Wednesday, 
he would have been even that much further behind. Correct. And now, well, and it, well, he would have gotten a bonus point there, but because today you add that one boat in, he got one bonus point for finishing second place. So again, it's a difference between 22 and 21 points between a lot of these because a lot of you, you said, are two bracket, are two boat teams here, are two boat races, two boat fleets. So. Yeah, it's a difference between one one bonus point, but in the end, in the long run, that could make a huge difference going forward on Sunday when everything gets doubled. Now we just were looking at the BoatRacingExperience.com. That's the boat that was added to the field today in uh, Crockett Class, class 400. 400. And that's the one we're talking about could make a big difference between that GNS and Simmons Marine. All right, there's your checker flag being handed out to GNS, Team Woody. Winners are in the infield. Winners of the Southernmost Continental Cup here today. Of course, Race World Offshore recognized teams that went on Wednesday and went on Friday. I mean, this is a unique event. It's a, it's a, it's a mini-series in itself in that you race three times in, in, in five days, and they'll recognize them on the podium here at the, the Outer Mole at the... Truman Waterfront Park here in Key West in between races. So your unofficial winners, again, Joey, these are bracketed classes. They've got to have their GPS data read by the the technical crew. If they stay inside their brackets, uh, the the results will be as we broadcast them here. But right now they're unofficial. Correct. And that could make it said with these two teams, these two class teams, it could really just flip the standings up on its head and make them even going into Sunday because a lot of the leaders on day one won again unofficially, like you said, on day two here. In that three-class team, that 400-class, you know, if Simmons and GNS happen to break out, you know, that could really put that bat boat up into the lead and really makes things interesting going into Sunday. So we'll have to see what all those readings and all those little black boxes have to say after this race. So your unofficial winners in bracket class 400, GNS, Motorsports in bracket class five, the 527 Team Woody. Their 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 race team partners, Team Woody Racing 327, taking bracket class 300 and black bracket class 600. Second straight win of the week for Southern Arbor Services. Bracket class 700, same thing for Jackhammer and Cigarette Justice League. Another impressive day for them. They do run unopposed in. Bracket Class 100. We are just getting started. More racing coming throughout the day, but don't touch that dial and stay right here with the the Race World Law Shore Facebook page as uh, we will continue to give you content and shots from Key West Harbor from the 2021 Key West World Championship races presented by Race World Law Shore and the presenting sponsor, Cigarette Racing, the American offshore legend. But we'll have more racing coming up at 1230, where you'll have the the factory 450 class running along with our last bracketed class, class 200, and then the the mod Vs and the stock Vs. Then at 